Zillow is taking over the world. In 2021 alone, they have purchased a major showing service, which is utilized across the country by agents to set showings, as well as become a brokerage in many major markets, Denver included. What does this mean? What does this mean to you as the consumer? Zillow is disrupting the real estate market. There's no doubt, but will they become an Amazon type or a Geico type? Hey, Jeremy Kane with Brokers Guild here. Absolutely drop in a new video every Saturday on YouTube, share it across my social media channels. Please subscribe, hit the bell, do all of that so that you can stay up to date and I can definitely take care of you across any real estate needs you might have. If we, I were to ask all of the people watching this video, how many have used Amazon in the last 12 months? The response would be overwhelming. Almost 100%, if not 100%, would say yes. As far as something a little different, think about Geico and the car insurance world. They went to a web-based interface. You can log on, make a couple clicks, and get an insurance quote and start your service right there. Now, if I asked most of the people watching if they had Geico for car insurance, there probably would be a portion of you that say yes, but it definitely would not be 100%. And actually, the majority probably take their insurance needs, managing those assets that are most important to them to a more traditional concept of an insurance agent, etc. Now back to Zillow and the housing market. Managing your most valuable asset through a computer screen and a team of salary professionals is an absolute risk. Zillow has a very user-friendly web interface for searching for homes, but as far as contracting homes and navigating the entire contract process, it is a stretch. Three things to keep in mind before entering the Zillow real estate web which will shortly include lending, title, and real estate services through those brokerages. And once you're in that web, they will use technology, salaried employees to make the process more convenient, but more convenient isn't always right. So first of all, the things that Zillow cannot offer you that a traditional real estate agent can. Do you have a single experience resource you can use as a sounding board? text, call, or email 24 hours a day for your questions to under that also understands your local market. If not, the offer process on either side of the sale will be very confusing to navigate. The inspection will be even more confusing and I won't even touch the appraisal process right now, which includes appraisal gaps and all kinds of wild offers coming from the buyer. The second thing is, is the convenience of everything being on your computer and you being able to click a couple buttons more important to you or is making as much money for your home, selling your home as you possibly can, the thing that really matters. If you're gonna choose convenience over tens of thousands of dollars, that is one thing and Zillow may be the right option for you. But in the event you wanna get the most for your money, take for instance right now in the Denver market, we are experiencing well over asking price offers, a whole bunch of a confusing inspection and appraisal language in those offers because buyers are willing to give up some of their rights to get under contract on your home. Now, take that on the flip side. As a buyer, it's very important that you understand the importance of these clauses that may be put into a contract and really understand what it means overall to have an appraisal gap or an inspection, waive an inspection and things like that. I would say that judging from a computer entrance or you know experiencing that through a computer and a hybrid system like Zillow will probably come forward with is going to be very difficult. And finally, we have this entire contract process, your whole experience as a buyer or a seller. I have sold over 250 homes in eight years and not one transaction has been exactly the same and worked like clockwork. Some of the questions that come up are very minor. There have been some major things that come up and not having someone who is in your corner that has built that relationship along, along the time frame of the contract and the offer process it's very difficult to make sure that you are getting the right answers when you need them and be in your corner when something goes a little bit different. Let's face it, this is a huge financial decision, but there are also many legal ramifications that come with the contract and selling your home. Until the web includes these services, I would suggest being very careful trusting Zillow with the crown jewel of your wealth, your home.